Let's start today a simple concept. Acid-based concepts. So we have five acid-based concepts. Okay. So number one, erogenous concept. Number two. Bernester Lowry concept. Number three, Lewis concept. Number four, Lux Fuller concept. Number five, Yusanovich concept. So we have to discuss these concepts one by one. So in Arrhenius, why these concepts came one by one? Actually, the, to, to find out the behavior of molecules, is it acting as acid, is it acting as base? So these chemists have given different concepts. Based on these concepts, we can figure out the behavior of molecules, whether it is accepting, a, it is a, uh, behaving as acid or base. So first, Arrhenius came, he has given concept, he said, uh, if the molecule is uh, donating H positive, H positive donor is acid and uh, OH minus donor is base. Then uh, there was some drawback, then Bronster Lowry came, they said, no, it is not possible, all molecules uh, are behaving like that. So there was a drawback, there was a limitation in Arrhenius concept, uh, which was co covered by concept. What they said, they said uh, they, they have given this uh, this theory on the basis of protons. So Bronostel already said H positive donor is acid, H positive acceptor is base. But again, there was some controversy, some contradictions with some molecules. Then Lewis came. Lewis said, no, I'm not going to accept the H positive theory. I'm not going to accept uh, this so OH minus theory. I have new theory that is electron, uh, electron pair theory. So as per this Lewis concept, electron pair donor is base, electron pair acceptor is acid. So here, new theory now, electronic theory of valency. So this Lewis concept is based on electronic theory of valency. So as per this concept, acid is that molecule, atom or ion, which are capable, which are able to accept an electron pair. It means they might have vacant d orbitals or incomplete octet. While as the base is uh, that molecule which is rich in electrons. So they have extra electron pair so that they can donate it and make a coordinate bond. Then after this, uh, these theories came also, but they are not so uh, popular theories, but they are well-known theories also. Lux flood concept. This Lux, he was actually a German, German chemist. His name is Hermann, Hermann Lux. And this uh, flood, flood was also scientist Hank Flood. They have given company theory. As per this theory, the acid, they have given this theory on the basis of oxide ion. So in this concept, acid and base must should must have uh, oxide ion so that is suppose if i take magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide it will give magnesium carbonate mgco3 so it means uh, oxide oxide is the main uh, the ion which is playing part in this theory then Yusanovich came, Yusanovich is a combination of Arrhenius concept, Bronson Lowry concept and Lewis concept. He has given the combination of all these, so uh, based on this he, he has, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he discussed this acetyl base behavior in terms of uh, cations, in terms of anions and in terms of electron pairs. So, uh, this is, uh, this concept has very few limitations compared to other concepts. So we are going to discuss these concepts one by one and we will discuss their limitations also. So let us start first uh, in this concept.
number one. I mean, as per uh, Arrhenius concept, uh, the molecules uh, which are donating H positive are considered as acidous, and the molecules which are donating OH minus hydroxyl ion are considered as bases. But this concept is limited to aqueous medium only. What does it mean? It means the behavior of molecules. Suppose we have HCl plus aqueous medium, it will give us H positive plus Cl minus. So it means those molecules which were which are giving H positive, they are considered as acids. So here we can say acid is H positive donor. Similarly, if we have NaOH plus aqueous medium, it will do Na positive plus OH minus. So those molecules who are donating OH minus, we are seeing them base. So base is OH minus donor. So then what is the Arrhenius concept? Arrhenius concept is, it is limited to aqueous medium. It is not applicable in gaseous medium, gaseous medium. So here we have H positive donor, it is acid. Suppose we have given example here. If I will continue some examples more. HNO3, H positive plus NO3 minus H2SO4, H plus medium, it will give twice H positive. SO4 2 minus okay it is diprotic it can release two protons similarly here if I will K positive OH minus so this concept is very simple concept so here we have acid which is H positive donor and we have base which is OH minus donor but uh, there are some limitations in this concept uh, because of because of those limitations then new concepts came into existence suppose brunner lowry concept came because there are some there were some molecules which Arrhenius couldn't explain suppose ammonia ammonia it, it, it ammonia has is not released donating h positive is not donating oh minus so how we can explain the acid base behavior of ammonia Similarly, water sometimes it is releasing H positive, sometimes it is releasing OH minus. So in both cases, it is not easy to 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 explain the behavior of those molecules which are not obeying this this rule. That is why then the brunner lowry concept came into existence. So before starting the brunner lowry concept, let me discuss some limitations of Arrhenius concept. Number one limitation in this concept was this uh, the to, to figure out the behavior of molecules whether they are uh, acting as extra base it was limited to only aqueous medium the behavior was it was this concept was limited to aqueous medium only it means only he has included water and it, the salt used here to check the behavior of acid and base, it was only water. Number two, cannot explain the behavior of ammonia. It couldn't explain the behavior of ammonia whether it is acid or base. Number three concept was cannot explain the acid base acid base behavior of molecules in gaseous in gaseous phase it couldn't explain the acid base behavior of molecules in gaseous gaseous state number four big uh, contradiction in this concept was as per this concept
H plus 2 was X extinct. However, it is actually it is hydronium ion. which exists. So first one was limited to aqueous medium. Number two couldn't explain the behavior of ammonia, cannot explain the acid based behavior of molecules in gas gaseous phase, gaseous phase. As per this concept, H plus 2 was existing. Basically H plus 2 is not existing. It is a misnomer word generally. H plus 2 is a misnomer word. However H3O plus 2 exactly, ex, uh, actually exists. So it, these are the limitations of uh, Arrhenius concept. Ronaster Lowry concept. As per this concept, acid is H plus 2 donor, same as Arrhenius acid, while as base is H plus 2 acceptor, while as in Arrhenius concept, base was OH minus donor. So here, if I give some examples. So if I say general example H A plus B, they are existing in equilibrium. So it will give me A minus plus B H positive. Okay. So if you see in this reaction what happened here, this, this molecule has donated H positive who has accepted B. So from this we can confirm this is donor. H positive donor, it is here H positive acceptor. So, in terms of Brunner Lowry concept, it will be Brunner Steel Lowry acid. This will be Brunner Steel Lowry base. You got it because it has donated H positive to this. Now, after this, we got this A minus and BH positive. But remember, we have here new concept conjugate acid base pair. So this H A acid after donating B after donating H positive to B it becomes A minus here remaining A minus and B is accepting H positive it becomes B H positive. Now this acid and it is base we are saying them conjugate acid base pair. Now this base and it is acid. We are seeing them conjugate acid base pair. You got it. Now, if I give one example like this HCl plus water, it is giving me Cl minus plus. H3O positive. If you see in this equilibrium reaction, what is happening here? This HCl is giving uh, Cl minus. It means it has donated. This HCl has donated H positive to water. Water has accepted H positive to become H3O positive. So, as per in this terminology, we will say this is Brunner Lowry acid. This is Brunner Lowry base. You got it. So. HCl it is base will be Cl minus. So then this and this they will be conjugate acid base pair and water and this hydronium they will be conjugate acid base here. We got it. So uh, uh, somehow this concept has uh, uh, 
overcome some issues which we were facing in Arena's concept. Now I will tell you how this concept has explained very well uh, uh, ammonia, how he has explained very well ammonia, whether ammonia is acid, whether ammonia is base and also sometimes in this water it is acting, acting here as base but in other case, some other cases it is acting as uh, acid, you got it. So th to, to explain this, uh, Professor Lowry has clearly explicitly explained it. Let me give you some more examples. For example, 3, if we have water, so here we are getting NH4 positive and OH minus. From this equation you can understand what happened here, NH3 became NH4 positive. What does it mean? NH3 has accepted proton from water. Okay, so when it is accepted, it means it is donor. It is accepted. If it is donor, it will become Brunsted Lowry acid. This is Brunsted Lowry base. Now, after accepting H positive, it will become here NH4 positive. Here, after donating, it will become OH minus. Then, this what will be there? Conjugate. acid base pair. Now if you see this ammonia and ammonia they will be also conjugate acid base pair. Okay. So similarly if we will take another some other more examples related to this we can figure out whether this is uh, acid or base. So uh, now you know you, you have understood the concept what is actually concept the concept is here H positive donor is acid H positive acceptor is base but here we have one note so if you see alkenes acids are Brunsted Lowry acids also however Alkenes bases are not Alkenes bases are not Brunaster Lowry basis. This is BL Brunaster Lowry. Okay. <coughs> Alkenes acid is are Brunaster Lowry acid is because both are uh, both have same concept H positive donor H positive donor. While here Alkenes bases they have different concept to OH minus donor while as Brunsted Lowry bases have H positive acceptor. But still after solving this issue there have there there have there were still some limitations, some drawbacks in this concept. So let me discuss now limitations of Brunsted Lowry concept. The limitations of uh, Brunsted Lowry concept number one. This concept was, it was limited to proton transfer, H positive. It was limited to H positive exchange. Number one, cannot explain the acidic property of Acidic properties of carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and and the basic properties of calcium oxide, barium oxide, etc. So this concept couldn't explain the acidic properties of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide and it also couldn't explain the basic properties of calcium oxide and barium oxide. Number third, another limitation of uh, uh, Brunaster-Lowry concept was 
it couldn't explain the acidic character of acidic acidic character of aprotic solvent aprotic molecules aprotic aprotic molecules means those who are without without h positive without protons so if any molecule is without h positive it means this concept cannot explain whether it is acid or base for example it ca cannot explain the acidic character of aprotic molecules for example FeCl3, AlCl3, etc. So basically, these molecules have a acidic character. So these are the three limitations of uh, uh, Brunner-Lowry concept. gone through Arrhenius concept of acid and bases and uh, the second one was Brunner's Lowry concept of acid and bases and we have gone through their uh, limitations okay so now let us start the third one that is the Lewis concept Lewis Lewis concept and it was a German German chemist His name was Gilbert Lewis. In 1923, he has given this concept. So, based on this concept, acid acid is electron pair acceptor. So, electron pair acceptor. If I write electron pair like this electron pair acceptor and base is electron pair donor so any molecule we can say any chemical species any chemical species either it is molecule atom or ion so this is a, a common term for both any chemical species either it may be molecule may be atom or ion so if it is electron pair acceptor it can be accepted as acid as per Lewis concept and if it is electron pair donor electron pair donor so it will be considered as base so let us start by one by one so first acid these acid is they are acting as electrophiles also electrophiles because they are electron deficient so what about them base base will be nucleophile okay so when you say electro electron pair acceptors so which can accept electron pair which is deficient in electrons so it means there is possibility of either the molecule or ion atom has incomplete d orbital partially filled number one number two it may be uh, incomplete octet okay so number three it may have positive charge because it has lost electrons so you want to, it wanted to gain electron that means cation so all cations all cations are Lewis acid so for example if I give so LNO3 positive iron 2 positive okay copper 2 positive zinc 2 positive at H positive you can say magnesium 2 positive you can say calcium 2 positive so all cations can be considered as Lewis acid and what about neutral molecules or we can say neutral molecules 
So we only see neutron molecules. So those who have incomplete uh, octet are those who have uh, incomplete d orbitals. So for example, we can give examples Al, Cl3, Fe, Cl3, Be, Cl2. We can give more examples like Si, Cl4, Sm, Cl4. We can go for Br3. So all those molecules, they have uh, incomplete d orbital. Yeah, we can go for SO3. Okay. So they have uh, incomplete mm, d orbital. Yeah, they have uh, partially filled. They have vacancy in their d orbital. So they have potential to, to gain to accept electron pair. Now similarly here in base, in base what we can say. So electron pair donor, you know very well who can donate. The molecules, the atoms, ions, they are able to donate only when they are electron rich. Electron rich means electron nucleophile. Nucleophile means nucleus loving. If you see, nucleus, positive charge, loving. Here if I say electrophile, it means electron loving. So it means they are deficient in electrons. Here they are loving positive charge. It means they are efficient with electrons. They have electron pairs. So if I say I can see all anions, all anions are Lewis bases. For example, if I go, I, I will say SO4 2 minus O2 minus. I can say chlorine minus, bromine minus, iodine minus, fluorine minus. So all anions they are considered as Lewis bases. Okay. So if I suppose molecules, we can go for ammonia. It has electron pair. It is electron rich. It has electron pair on nitrogen. We can go for water. What is also electron pair, two electron pairs. We can go for a minus. So if you see, we have primary second electron tertiary amine. So they have also electron pair. We can go for alcohol. So we have here also electron pair. We can go for ethers. So they have also they are electron rich they they can they can donate electron pair so this is the simple concept what is acid electron pair acceptor what is base electron pair donor so any chemical species it may be molecule it may be atom it may be ion so these acids are behaving as electrophiles they are behaving as nucleophiles nucleophiles we can say so it means they are nucleus loving here it is electron loving okay so all cations like aluminum 3 positive iron, 2 positive copper, 2 positive zinc, all these are, all cations are uh, Lewis acids. And neutron molecules, we have all these neutron molecules, they can behave as Lewis acid, while as all anions, when I say anion here, so SO4 2 minus O2 minus chlorine, and molecules like ammonia, we have water, we have methyl, alcoholus, we have, uh, suppose we have here, Ammonia, we have alcohol in general, general for not only methanol, all alcohols. So they are electron rich, they have potential to donate electron pair. Okay, and who is going to accept that electron pair? Lewis acid. So that is why there is uh, in the Lewis as per Lewis acid, Lewis acid has explained it on the basis of coordinate bond formation coordinate bond formation between uh, Lewis acid and Lewis base. So when uh, Lewis acid is electron deficient, it wanted to attract electron pair towards itself. So who is responsible to donate that? That is Lewis base. So Lewis base is electron rich. It is donating electron pair and Lewis acid is accepting it. So both electrons are from the Lewis base. That is why there is formation of coordinate bond. So, so this concept has uh, somehow explained very well and most of the molecules are behaving uh, nicely while we are applying this concept and we can figure out which molecule is behaving as acid which molecule is behaving as base 
So this uh, concept was basically based on electron theory of valency. Electron theory of valency. So based on valency, he has explained very well and explicitly which one is which molecule can be as acid, which molecule can behave as base. But still, somehow there were some contradictions. There were some limitations in this concept also. So let us uh, uh, before discussing limitations, let me give you some examples uh, for coordinate bond formation in Lewis concept. Lewis acid, acid base concept. If we go through examples, so I will give you a simple example. Suppose if we will take okay, now you know as for this concept, acid is. electron pair acceptor and base is electron pair donor okay now if we see here nitrogen we have here two nitrogen atomic number seven so two and five in the valence shell five electrons so one two three four five electron pair so hydrogen one so it will be one only so hydrogen one two this three hydrogen three so similarly if i take aluminum here we have here so 13 so two eight three valence how many electrons three we have in the outermost shell valence shell here and chlorine 72 8 7 valence shell how many 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so it can it is clearly confirmed from here aluminum 1 2 3 4 5 6 in bonding periods they are not complete in the octet of aluminum so it means the outermost shell is not completely filled so in that case this uh, nitrogen it will donate electron pair to Aluminium. So you know as per this concept, base electron pair donor. It means it is Lewis base. Who is accepting? This means it is Lewis acid. So what will be the result? Okay. So nitrogen joint electron pair, it means we can show this. This is called the coordinate bond. Coordinate bond. We can show it like this also. Because most of the books are showing it just a simple line. It is confirmed that the electron pair donor is nitrogen and this will be the Lewis uh, base and this is the Lewis acid and this is making the complex. So Lewis base, Lewis acid are making the complex. If I give some more examples for example we can show AG positive what is AG positive with two times ammonia so we know ammonia has electron pair it will give AG and it will take a hold towards it will make complex so now if I show SI silicon tetrafluoride plus two times fluorine minus what is going to happen so it will make SI FC is two minus so this is Lewis acid, this is Lewis base, this is complex, this is Lewis acid, this is Lewis base, this is complex. So similarly if I show here SNCl4 plus 2 times Cl minus, it will give us SNCl6. 
2 minus. So essential for it is Lewis acid, electron deficient. See all anions are Lewis bases, Lewis base. This is complex. So these are some examples of uh, uh, Lewis concept to show how they are behaving. So their behavior in this, so there are most of the most of cases they are ex existing in, in equilibrium, equilibrium reaction. If I will repeat some more examples related to Lewis concept. If I say, suppose we have iron 3 positive plus 6 times Cn minus, it will give Fe Cn6 is 3 minus. So, 3 electrons are taking, iron is taking 3 electrons, 3 electrons are remaining with the complex. So, if you see here, all cations are Lewis acids and all anions are Lewis bases. So, this is the complex okay so if I say now two minus so what will be the result zinc sulfate this is the what will be this Lewis acid this one will be Lewis base this is the compound zinc sulfate so similarly we have so many examples just you have to remember in Lewis concept acid is electron pair acceptor because it is deficient in electrons so what does it mean it means either it has lost electrons it means it has positive charge you got it oxidation loss of electrons so either it has incomplete uh, d orbital valence or orbital or it is somehow maybe some, it has incomplete octet so to complete the octet it is trying to uh, to attract electron pair from electron pair from the base so so base is in, in terms of Lewis concept electron pair donor like we have Aminas, we have alcohol, we have ethers, we have water, we have ammonia, they are electron rich molecules. So, because in their valence shell they have enough electrons, and they, uh, so that is why they are behaving as nucleophile. They are searching for nucleus, it means positive charge. You got it. So, this is the concept of Lewis acid base. We have gone through Lewis concept, we know what is uh, as per Lewis acid is electron pair, except our base is electron pair. Donor. So we have gone through some examples. Generally, you have to keep in mind cations and Lewis acid and molecules who are electron deficient. We have vacuum D orbitals. Yeah, those molecules who don't have uh, complete octet, they are all Lewis acids. And uh, Lewis base are those molecules who have capability, who have and uh, who have uh, which are electron rich molecules which can give electron pair. You got it. So it means in their valence shell they have a lot of electrons. Uh, in addition to shared pair electrons, they have lone pair of electrons. They are in a position to donate electron pair. So all anions, because they are electron rich, that is why we are seeing them nucleophile. All anions and uh, all molecules who have electron pair, lone pair of electrons like ammonia, like ether, like alcohol, like water, like aminas. So we have gone through this concept. And let us discuss some limitations of this concept. Limitations of limitation number one. As per this concept, those molecules who are involved in the formation of coordinate bond, we can explain them very well that this it is it is behaving as acid it is behaving as molecule but most of the chemical reactions acid based reactions some of the acid based reactions they do not involve uh, coordinate bond formation so it couldn't explain them so all acid base reactions do not include coordinate bond formation it was the first limitation of Lewis concept all acid based reactions do not include coordinate bond formation so it couldn't explain this number two 
do not explain the acid base acidic character of well known is a well known protonic acid is for example hcl h2so4 etc which do not form which do not form coordinate bond so these molecules HCl, H2SO4, they are not making, uh, we do not have a coordinate bonds with their bases. With their bases. They are not formed, they do not have a coordinate bond. So this theory couldn't explain the acidic character of HCl and H2SO4. So the number third concept of this concept couldn't explain the related theory of acid sand this concept couldn't explain the related theory of acid sand basis these are some uh, uh, limitations of uh, and a Lewis concept. As you know, in our previous lecture, we were discussing about acid base concept. So we have uh, given we have five acid base concepts. Number one is uh, uh, Arrhenius concept. Number two is uh, Bronner Lowry concept. Number three is Lewis concept. Then we have further two concepts. Uh, number number fourth is Lux flood concept, and number fifth is. Yusanovich concept. So let me discuss today fourth one that is Lux flood concept. Lux flood concept of acid sand basis. As for Lux flood, actually it was uh, this uh, two scientists. First he was main Lux. Then this concept was improved by concept was improved by Hong flood. So that is why it is called the Lux flood concept. So Hermann Lux and so as per this concept acid. So basically this concept is explaining acid base character in terms of oxide ion formation. So they have discussed acid base behavior in terms of oxide ion. In terms of oxide ion. So what they are saying, they are saying acid is, so as per this concept, acid is oxide ion acceptor okay and base is oxide ion donor so this is donor this is acceptor this is very simple concept so if I give some examples now suppose if I say magnesium oxide plus CO2. So the result is MgCOO3. Now, if you see what happened in this reaction, this magnesium, magnesium, it was having oxide. So it means it has donated this oxide to carbonate. Well, if it is donor, what does it mean? It is base. So it is lacus, lacus flood base. It is accepted. It means lacus flood acid. Lacus flood acid. So this is one example. If I take another example now, it they, they will make magnesium carbonate.
Okay, so if we have this Si O3. Now if you see here again same this calcium oxide it is donating oxygen to silica oxide so it is making CaSi O3. Now if I take another example for this so if I see uh, in this reaction which one is acid which one is base this is lacus flood base this is lux flood acid because this is donor electron pair uh, uh, donor donor means acid this is acceptor electron pair acceptor is acid so lux flood base lux flood acid now if i take no3 and s2o7 2 minus molecule it will give us nitrogen dioxide and two times SO4 2 minus. Now what happened here? If you see here again same NO3, it has donated one oxide and it became NO2. So it means it is like a flood base because donor and it has accepted this oxide and so it is like flood acid. This is a simple concept. But still this concept has some limitation. What is the limitation? This concept is uh, uh, has been studied only in molten state. Limitation. If I will say limitation here, limitation. This concept has been studied only in molten state so those molecules which are existing in uh, molten state we can apply this concept you got it so suppose molten oxides only it is applicable to molten oxides not in gaseous, gaseous state not in liquid state not in uh, aqueous state so only in molten state so generally this uh, Concept is applicable only for only in molten state and those and they should they must they must have oxide ion that is another limitation they must have oxide ion that, then after we can that is the only option uh, on the basis of oxide ion we can explain them and we can explain their behavior are they uh, behaving as acid or behaving as base so if this concept has still some limitations now after this concept we will go for the last concept that is the last concept is Yusanovich concept of acidic and basis. So let me start that one. Uh, this is the fifth one. Yusanovich concept of acidic and basis. So as per this concept, acid is the molecule of which will react with base. React with base. Number one. Number two gives cations. Number three acceptors anions are electrons it means acid is electron deficient they accept anion or we can say electrons while is base as per this concept so here react with base here it will be reacts with acid here gives cations here we can say gives Anions are electrons, just opposite to it. Here gives cations, here gives anions are electrons. Here accepts anions, here we can say accepts cations. So this is the the basic concept of Usano, which Usano, which uh, which has given a description explanation of acid and base. Now, if I say as per this uh, concept of acid, what are the examples? For example, we have here HCl, we have 
H2SO4, we have HNO3, we have here H positive, we have here cerium 4 positive, we have here iron 3 positive, we have here aluminum trichloride, we have here BF3. So if you see here, it is including all those uh, concepts which we have already discussed in Arrhenius concept, uh, uh, Brunner's Lowry concept, and Lewis concept. Uh, while as if you, see, if you see here, it is including cations also. It is include, including those uh, molecules which have incomplete octet, uh, those molecules which have uh, partially filled T orbitals, incomplete T orbitals. So cations also. Those molecules who are donating H positive minus cations here, if you see. So it is including almost the all three concepts. While as base. So we will say definitely anions SO4 2 minus I minus Br minus we can say fluorine minus we can say fluorine minus here we can say also iron 2 plus we can say iron 3 plus here I mentioned iron 4 plus iron 3 plus here iron 2 plus iron 3 plus why because it accepts cations yeah, it gives an ion or electron. When it will give electron, it will become iron 3 plus. So it means giving electron is base, accepting electron, accepting electrons is acid. So this concept is uh, mostly accept, uh, accepting all, suppose if you say NH3 electron, because it gives an ions or electrons. You got it? So we can say, because it is electron rich. So if they are electron rich, so we can say M ion is their electron rich. So in this concept, uh, yeah, from these examples it must be uh, clear to you. So it is including all three concepts which we have discussed in the previous lecture. Uh, Rennes concept, Brunner Lowry concept and, uh, and Lewis concept, electronic theory. Uh, proton theory and H positive and hydroxyl ion theory uh, related to these three. So these are the examples, these are the basic difference uh, uh, between acid and base as per Yusanovich concept. Now let me give some examples. If we will discuss some examples related to this concept so that it will be uh, it will be clear to you. Generally we are seeing all oxidizing agents. All oxidizing agents are behaving as Osanovich acids. So, in general, all reducing agents, so they are, as per this concept, basis. Now, let me clear you what is oxidizing agent. You know what is oxidizing agent? Oxidizing agent is that agent, yeah, that chemical species which helps us in oxidation but itself undergoes reduction. You got it? Itself undergoes reduction. Similarly, here, reducing agent, agent chemical species which help us in reduction, which help us in a reduction in a chemical reaction but itself undergoes oxidation. So, you, you, you know which gives an ion, which gives, uh, which gives electron, that is base, which accepts electron, that is acid. Now, let me give some more examples. So, for example, if we have cerium 4 positive plus electron, it will give us cerium 3 positive, cerium 3 positive. So, if you see cerium 4 positive, lots of 4 electrons, it is accepting electron. So, when it is accepting electron, it becomes cerium 3 positive. So, as per this concept, what is now this? This is acid because electron electron acceptor. Here it is base. Now, if I give another example, iron three positive plus electron. So it will give us iron two positive. This is ferric. This is ferrous. So if you see this iron, it is accepting electron. So electron acceptor. What we can see. So, it is acid, this will be base. Now, if I take opposite, uh, suppose if I consider here 
आयरन टू पॉजिटिव If I say this one, iron two positive gives iron three positive plus electron. It means those species which give anion or electrons, anion or electrons, they are bases. So it means it has given oxidation. It has given electron. So it means this will be base. This will be acid. Similarly, if I say cerium three positive electron. So as for this concept, this is here base. This is acid oxidation. Now, if I give you another example, for example, HCl and water. So this it will give H3O positive Cl minus. So as per this concept, if you see HCl plus water. So it has given proton. It means gives cation. So cation means H positive. So as for this concept, this is acid, and this will be base. Why? Because it is accepting this H positive. So similarly, if I say NH3 plus water, what will be the equilibrium reaction? It will give NH4 positive plus OH minus. If you see here, this NH3 has accepted one proton from this uh, from water, so it became NH4 positive OH minus. So this is H positive donor. Here it was acting as base. Here it is acting as acid. Here this one is as base. So from this, the conclusion is water is accepting uh, water is uh, behaving as acid and water is behaving as base. So in, in such cases, we can say this water is an amphoteric. Those molecules which have dual character, sometimes they are acting as acid, sometimes they are acting as base. We are saying they have dual character, they, we are saying they are amphoteric molecules, amphoteric molecules. So this is uh, about uh, Sonovich concept. Now these are the five concepts which we have discussed about acids and bases. Number one, Arrhenius concept. So as per Arrhenius concept, H positive donor, acid, OH minus donor, base. Number two, uh, Bronister Lowry concept, as per this concept, H positive uh, donor, acid, O H positive acceptor, base. You got it? So here it is proton theory. Uh, so from this we can conclude all, uh, all Arrhenius acids are Bronister Lowry acids. But all Arrhenius bases are not Bronister Lowry bases. It is clear. Number third concept is electron pair concept. Electron pair concept. So, as per this concept, electron pair uh, donor is base, electron pair acceptor is acid. This is Lewis concept. Then we have fourth concept, Lux Fuller concept. So, Lux Fuller concept is based on oxide ion, donor, oxide ion, acceptor. So, oxide ion, ox uh, oxide ion acceptor is acid, oxide ion donor is base. So, we have given some examples of magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, all these things. So, uh, every concept has its own limitations, like this uh, Lux Fuller concept, it is related to only those molecules containing oxide ion, and especially in molten state, they should be in molten state. So similarly, uh, we have the last concept that is Yusanovich concept. According to this concept, it is a combination of uh, three concepts: Arrhenius, uh, Lewis, and uh, Bronsted Lowry concept. So, as for this concept, we know uh, what is acid, what is base. 